Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew here. Today we're going to look at a Galaxy S8 restoration here. I bought this phone and it's pretty beat up. The LCD is damaged and doesn't even power on anymore. And let's see if we can bring this phone back to life. The back glass is still in good condition, but like I said, the LCD is cracked and it's pretty busted up up front. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to do is make sure your device is turned off. Now grab your heat gun. A blow dryer will also work. Now heat towards the bottom right here and go to the sides, the top. Now you go to the side and back to the bottom. The bottom is going to be our entry point for our iSesimo opening tool. Use the point end of the tip and slide it in. Be careful not to push it in too far in because you can damage the device. Now grab these blue metal picks here and slide them up and down. If you feel a lot of resistance, grab your heat gun and blow it again. There we go. I'm starting to slide. This one's coming up very freely. I think I got this one already. Now you guys be careful. Do not rip this back glass panel off as you will rip the fingerprint scanner ribbon. Once you get it open, just use the flat end tip of the plastic spudger to release the ribbon cable. Now I'm going to fast forward this scene here and we're going to remove all these Phillips screws as shown here. Be careful with the magnetic charging pad as you can damage it. Now grab your plastic spudger, the flathead side, and lift up right here towards the top to release this bracket. This releases your magnetic charging coil. Be careful as you can rip it. Next up, you want to remove the logic board cover. This is the middle cover. And then last but not least is your speaker grill cover. On the left side, we have a brand new Galaxy S8 frame. I'm basically going to transfer all the guts from the right to the left besides the charging port. Here goes a brand new port. I'm going to make this phone feel just like brand new. All right, so I'm going to insert here. And I'm now going to transfer the Phillips screws from the right to the left. But let me seat this down correctly. Slide this in. Then you want to shove this in to the right. Be very careful, guys, as you can break this ribbon cable. Like I said, I'm going to remove the Phillips screws here from the right side to the left side. Let me secure this down. Be careful not to over tighten these screws as you can strip it. We get the two screws from the USB Type-C charging port. Slide it in right there. And the right one. And now let me fast forward it so I don't want to bore you guys. Now the first thing you want to do is remove the battery cable right there. You see my thumb just hit it before doing anything else. Now pop this cable off, pop the front facing cam. Just be careful with the plastic exposure. Never use a flathead screwdriver as you can risk damage to the logic board. Now move the display port. Now let's go down here and check this one. There's one more port right here. Let me try to get it on camera. And that one. Now next step you want to do is remove the SIM card tray. You should have these tools here. They come in most phones when you buy them brand new in the box. Just pop this out. It just makes it removing the logic board much easier. You also want to remove these red and white cables right here. These are jumper cables from each logic board. And then slide them right out. Just be very gentle. Last thing you want to do is rip these cables. Alright, use your spudger here. And then try to lift up the logic board very gently. Again, never use any kind of metal objects to do this scenario. Be very careful right here, guys, as there's another connection towards the back of this logic board connecting the other piece on the bottom. It's towards the back. Let me see if I can get an angle. Just peel it off with your thumb if you can. And there you go. The top section of the board comes right out. Next up, you want to plug in these jumper cables. You have a blue and a white one. So just push down gently and then run them through right here towards the top. You want to keep these cables very organized and just remember how they were before. If you want, you can take pictures for reference. Just use my spudger here to line them. Just make sure they're nice and smooth. And there we go. Slide this one towards the top. Now, even though the frame on the left is brand specking new, it is missing a couple of components that you'll have to transfer over, like the front proximity sensor, your earpiece speaker, front facing selfie cam, and your vibration motor. Now the next step is to remove the factory battery pack. Be very careful guys as this can explode if it's punctured, ruptured, or damaged. Be very careful. Just slide your, your plastic spudger in towards the back and move yourself way in very slowly. Like I said, this can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. At least this step is much easier than the Apple iPhones. They just make their adhesive super hard to remove. There you go, just slide and pull it off slowly. There you go, easy, easy. No need to rush it. 
Now check this out guys, look at how much damage this frame had. You see those punctures right here from the front glass? It basically went all the way through the frame and inside to the battery. Look, you'll see. Wow, that is from serious damage. You see that puncture right there on the battery? Right there. This could have been a very bad scenario if it punctured a little bit harder. This phone could literally explode or even caught fire. Good thing it didn't. I was going to reuse that battery pack, but looking at the manufacture date of March 2017 and the physical damage, I decided to install a brand new cell. This one's made right here in 2019. In fact, it was made in April 26 of 2019, which is a pretty fresh battery pack. Now you want to put everything in back in the reverse order here. I just put the logic board back in, as well as the front facing selfie cam, vibration motor, earpiece speaker, and proximity sensor. Now you want to just make sure everything is seated correctly and make sure there's no kind of wiggle or anything unusual. Now let me put back the 3.5 millimeter headset port here. Just slide in from the bottom to the left and then push down to the right and then put your ribbon cable back in. Now grab one of the Phillips screws here and put it right back in. It doesn't matter which one. What I like about Samsung phone is all their screws are literally the same size. Unlike Apple iPhones, they make everything different sizes just to make it more difficult to work on. Now grab your speaker here and push in towards the bottom and then push towards the top. And just make sure it's flush and you'll tell you'll be able to tell when it's fully flush. Next up you want to grab this medium sized logic board cover. Again, make sure it's flush and well seated. Alright guys, before we go any further, let's remove this battery adhesive strip right here and grab our fresh brand new battery pack. This brand new pack is going to give this phone a whole new life with 100% health. It's basically going to feel 100% restored with this one. Alright, seat it down real gently and then press down firmly to make sure the adhesive sticks on it. Next step is you want to plug in your battery pack. Just push down the ribbon cable very gently. Again, remember these are just like Legos. Now let's grab our wireless charging pad cover and lay it on gently. You want to start from the top and move your way in. There you go, push down very gently and you'll see it start to settle in. Alright, next up here's when we put all the Phillips screws back in. Again, remember to never over tighten these screws as you can damage the board or even strip the screws. Alright, we're basically done here. We just got to put the battery cover back on and boom, we're done. But right now I'm just doing a quick test here, making sure everything's flush. And now for the moment of the truth, we're going to power on the device. And yes, it's working. Usually when you get this logo, it's a good sign that everything went well. Alright, let's see how she performs. Come on, baby, boot up. There we go. And just like that, the Galaxy S8 is restored. Alright guys, so since my glass back panel was not broken, I decided to reuse it. All you gotta do is buy some new adhesive and remove the old one and apply the new one. Sounds pretty simple, right? So what you wanna do is get your heat gun here and apply some heat towards the top. Just do it back and forth. You don't wanna put too much heat. And then put some heat towards the bottom. Now grab your spudger. And basically just start scrubbing. You'll start seeing it peel off really easy. So just keep doing this until you get a clean look so you can apply the new adhesive on smoothly. Alright, just finished putting the adhesive on the old glass back panel here. Looks nice and smooth. Make sure the black side of the adhesive is facing towards the battery door. And then the gray part will go towards the phone. Alright guys, we're at the home run stretch right here. And the last step you want to do here is plug in the fingerprint sensor ribbon cable. See that one right there? You want to plug it right in there. There's a connection right in the middle, right in the bottom of the camera. There we go. You can use your finger or a spudger, but for me it makes it easier using my finger. You'll feel it when it goes through. Let me double check here. Yeah, I think I got it. There we go. Alright guys, this is our last step here. Now we're going to seat the adhesive. I want to start from the top, which makes it a little easier so you can align the camera. And then just start pushing down. Make sure the adhesive bites on. And then work your way towards the middle, towards the bottom. And then press down firmly. There we go. Sorry, I got off camera right here. Let's just start pressing down very firmly. Make sure it seats down very smoothly. And we're basically done. And ladies and gentlemen, this Galaxy S8 is fully restored and brought back to life. And let me peel off this front cover here to show its beauty. Take a look at that beautiful OLED panel. Compared to this thing on the right, 
Woo, this thing looks gorgeous. It's basically a brand new phone now. I put in the brand new battery pack, brand new charging port, brand new frame, brand new screen. The only thing I really reused was the front camera, proximity sensor, and vibration motor. So the Samsung Curve panels are pretty expensive. I got this panel for around $145. This is an OEM panel, plus the charging port was $4, and the brand new OEM battery was $11. So I roughly spent around $160. But basically, this is a brand new Galaxy S8 for a new owner to use to enjoy for more couple of years. So alright guys, this completes my video on the Galaxy S8 restoration. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found this content helpful, be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment what do you think about this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.